Good morning, our viewers at home and those listening to us from all over the world. Welcome to today's telecast of the Open Heavens from our book of study, the Open Heavens Devotional, written by our Father in the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Adeboe. My name is Pastor Michael Ashadi, uh, Pastor of Pastor of Zone, Good News in Ogun Province 16, Abeokuta Ogun State, Nigeria. Let us pray. Lord in heaven, we thank you this day. And as we have come to you, we pray, O oh God, that you will speak to us the word of life that will transform us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Today, the Tuesday, December 12th, 2023, we are looking at the topic that says two types of salvation. Two types of salvation. Our Bible reading is taken from Matthew chapter 22, verse 8 to 14. Matthew 22, verse 8 to 14. Then said he to his servants, the wedding is ready, but they which are bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, be to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on, which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Our memory verse is in Romans chapter 9, verse 27. Romans chapter 9, verse 27. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Though the number of thy children, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Isaiah cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Two types of salvation. When the people who were initially giving the invitation to the wedding could not come, I mean, there was not enough guests to fill up the place of the event. I mean, an, an open invitation was given again to as many you can meet, bring them in. As many, just go ahead, telling all manner of people, bring them in. But a man came in and was found not to be with a garment, not to be with his own wedding garment, and he was asked to be driven out. He was bundled out. And the Bible says there was weeping, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Inasmuch as the invitation was given to him, it was seen that he had a responsibility to himself to ensure he was properly dressed. We must ensure our salvation is intact. It is our personal responsibility. Yes, you have been invited to the program. You have been invited to church. You have been invited to fellowship. It's your responsibility how you approach the events. 
God wants everyone to come on his side, to be in heaven. But we all must take responsibility how we get there. Salvation is personal. But today, Daddy wants to speak to us on two types of salvation. And I will beckon on you to listen very, very well. Listen attentively and see what he has written down that can be a blessing to us this morning. Jesus said clearly in Matthew 7, verse 21, that not all who call him Lord will enter into the kingdom of God. This implies that not everyone who is dancing and praising God in church will go to heaven. Anyone who is a child of God is regarded as an Israelite. But then our memory verse today says that though there will be many who will become born again, only a remnant amongst them will be saved on the last day. Not every prophet, pastor, evangelist will make it to heaven. Don't think that every man who says he's a man of God will make it to heaven. Thus, when you hear of certain men of God doing some un ungodly things, don't let it surprise you. Some of them are not on the narrow path to heaven at all. There are two categories of salvation. There is instant salvation, the kind that happens when people answer the altar call. Romans 10, verse 13. And then there is the ultimate salvation, which happens when you endure to the end, as seen in Matthew 10, verse 22. Matthew 10, verse 22. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. It is he that endures to the end that is to be saved. The fact that you are standing now is great, but you must stand until the end to be saved. Some people teach that once you are saved, you are saved forever. That you can be saved and then live like a child of the devil and you would still make it to heaven. That is the devil's lie. You must guard your salvation jealously as shown in Philippians 2 verse 12. Philippians 2 verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The devil will do everything within his power to take you back to himself. Don't think that because you have done many great things for God, you now have a sure ticket to heaven. You must remain standing until the end if you would make it to heaven. It is he that endures to the end that is saved. The moment you give your life to Christ, the process of saving you has begun, but it is not complete. It is not ended until you endure to the very end. We must keep on holding on to God. Don't let go of him. The devil does not want to... Yes, you have been taken away from his hold. He wants to fight back to get the person back to his fold again. It is you that will resist and ensure you don't get back to him. You must keep on trusting God. Keep on holding on to God tenaciously. The Bible tells us we must work out our own salvation with fear and trembling. So you see there are two types of salvation. The initial one and the ultimate. Oh, that you surrender to Christ, to God be the glory. Names can be in the book 
and names can also be removed. Paul regarded Demas as one of his beloved, I mean, as one of those that were carrying the gospel. At a point in time, he said, Demas has abandoned me, having loved the things of the world. He loved the things of the world. He went after the things of the world. He forsook the pursuit of the kingdom of God and took after the pursuit of the things of the world. His name was once in the book of life, but was later removed. Was later removed. Let us ensure we stand to the very end. We hold on to God to the very end. So that on that day, it is those who are standing that the Lord will recognize. I pray you and I will keep standing. We will not fall off the way in the mighty name of Jesus. For adventure, you are yet to even start the journey. <laughs> you can't be talking of ending. That means if you have not yet surrendered your life to Christ now, the initial salvation has not even happened to you. You can't be talking of the ultimate salvation occurring in your life. You must have the initial one, surrendering to him now, and working it out with fear and trembling. If you want to surrender to Christ today, right now, wherever you are, listening and watching, the Lord is ready to receive you. If only you come to him. And I want you to talk to him. Say, Lord, I am ready. I come to you today. Please accept me. Receive me as one of yours. And from today, help me to live a holy life. Wash away my past. Wash me of my sins. And grant me a new beginning in you. And as I start this, I know I will end with you as you strengthen me. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, I rejoice with you. And I want you to share it with any Bible-believing church wherever you are. Or better still, any redeemed Christian church of God close by. And the Lord will use them to help you so that the ultimate salvation will be your gain. You will not fall off the way in the mighty name of Jesus. Key point as we go today is that you must remain standing until the end if you would make it to heaven. In whatever you are doing, have that in focus. The Lord, I must make it to the end. The Yoruba will say, it is not he who started that is doing the work, but he that endure, endures to the end. Help me to endure to the very end. And I know the Lord will keep us all together and we shall all see in glory even on that day. God bless you until we meet again. Have a nice time.